Hello everybody. In today's video, I'm going to show you five simple prompts to generate one of my favorite kinds of pictures, which are close-ups and macro photography. If you don't have a Playground AI account set up already or don't know what it is, make sure to go to my playlist called Playground AI where I have already showed how to use some of its main features. Also, if this is your first time to my channel, I recommend everybody to go to my playlist section first to find the videos and topics that they are most interested in. Alright, let's get started. For today's video, I have the same kind of presets I had for the other videos. I'm going to generate one image at a time. I'm going to do it on a private session. I'm going to keep my filters at none because I don't want them interfering with my prompts. I'm going to have some prompt exclusions in place. These are safeguards I recommend so you don't get any malformed images which have two heads, two faces or they have a poorly drawn face. Sometimes you do get them anyways but it's better to have them removed from the image. For today's video, I'm going to start with images which are more close-ups all the way to macro photography. The prompt I'm going to start off with is cat eyes. Let's do a first generation. Alright, I have a picture of a cute cat with its green eyes showing up. The first prompt I'm going to use here is a close-up portrait. You see how the image is getting closer and closer to the eyes? This picture is actually sort of out of focus, so let me generate again. Alright, I think I like this one better. This looks like if you have a security camera in place and your cat somehow found it and started looking at it very, very closely. I want to mention that if you want to get even closer to the actual eye, I recommend not using eyes because if you use eyes that means both the eyes need to show up and that means the whole face needs to show up so it can't really go deep into the actual eyeball. So let me regenerate the same thing with a cat eye. You see what I mean? This time it can actually avoid the other eye and focus in even more on a single eye. Alright let's go to the next prompt. This time I'm going to use cat eye with a sharp focus. I'm going to click generate. Alright, we have another close-up shot. This time it's really focusing on the eyeballs and I'm starting to see details on the individual eye. Let me do one more generation, a cat eye with a sharp focus. You might notice that the actual eyeball does not have as many details as a real eyeball might have. You can of course mention things like bloodshot eyes or something like that, but I'm avoiding doing that for this video because some viewers might not like that. Alright, let's go a little bit more macro. So we have a photograph of a cat eye taken with the Nikon macro lens. Let's click generate. Alright, you see how there's some gradients that are starting to show on the actual eyeball? That is only possible using a macro lens. You can actually change the camera brand as well if you don't like a Nikon and say Canon macro lens. Wow, it's starting to look beautiful. I know it's an eyeball, but to me that looks like the surface of a different planet. Let me try another one, but this time I'm going to say a Sony macro lens. I like how the shape of the pupil keeps changing as well. To me that looks like a laptop screen. It's like when you're trying to work from home but your cat is sitting on your keyboard not letting you work. Alright, let's go to the next prompt. This time I'm just going to say macro photograph of a cat's eye. Click generate. Alright, I'm starting to see more and more colors get added to the eye. Let's upscale that one as well. Sometimes these pictures do get out of focus like you see here. So there might be some correction needed. Let's do one more generation. Nice, I see some more green on the eye. This one looks like the cat is outside because I see some blue skies here. But you see what I mean by close-up shots and macro? You should be able to see what is reflecting on the eyeball. Alright, the last one actually is not a prompt. It's more like an adjustment to the prompt. You see when you say cat eye, the most it can do is actually focus on the entire eyeball. If you want to adjust your prompt to see actual close-ups, say if you want to say cat eye pupil, that actually should get you pretty close. This actually is not on a cat, this is on a human being. They're maybe using a cat eye lens. What I mean here is if you edit your prompt to mention something which is close up by design, then you will get a pretty close up shot anyways, because there's no way to get to the pupil of an eye without getting pretty close to the face. Alright, as a bonus, let me do some combinations. So I'm going to do a close-up portrait of a cat eye with Nikon macro lens. Click generate. Alright, not bad. You see, even though I mentioned a bunch of things in my prompt exclusions, I can still get blurry images sometimes. Let me see if this changes with an upscale. I'm not quite happy with the picture because the focus is missing. So for the last one, I'm going to add on a close-up portrait of a cat eye taken with an icon macro lens with 
sharp focus. All right, well, the focus is not quite working as I expected, but you see how you do need to make quite a number of attempts to get the kind of picture you want. But I think you got the idea of what kind of prompts you need to use to get your pictures to be pretty close up. Like this one is the sharpest I've gotten the eyeball to get, and the other ones keep getting out of focus on this eye area. But that just means you need to do a few more generations to get what you need. On that note, I'm going to end this video because I'm starting to feel like an eye doctor. But I hope you got some value from this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to click the like button and subscribe to my channel. I have a lot more videos coming up. Till the next one, thank you so much.